Okay, be honest. If you have a son or a daughter in college, you probably have some sleepless nights worrying about them. Mm -hmm. You know why? Especially when it comes to their love interests. Well, we're in luck this morning. Relationship expert Dr. Gilda is here with some great advice on how to get a little rest, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> but and it's not just college students. You know, I have two boys, 22 and 26. I worry about them too. Of course. But you, you really want to focus and empower women. Young women. Young women. Yes. What is what is the message? What do you want them to know? It, it's a different time right now. Lots it's a very different time, and the communication is very, very low because they have their faces buried in their cell phones. Mm -hmm. And so they're missing out on the crucial things like body language that counts for 55% of the interactions that we have on other people, voice inflection and intonation that counts for 38% oh. of how we impact people. So when words only count for 7% and these kids are taking to heart some of the text messages that mm -hmm. they're getting because that's all they do right, is text, right? Right, right. Yes. right. Then they feel awful because they haven't really addressed the other parts of communication. I mean, they hook up right. and break up on the that's same text. That right. Sometimes in the same thread, in right? The same day. Well, right. sometimes they do. Sometimes they do get together right. and they hook up. Right. And then their hearts are broken, and they come to me, and they say, "Oh, but he said this, and he said that, and what am I going to do now?" Mm -hmm. And of course, in a young person's life, everything is exa exaggerated. Right. So that you know, it, the, the world is over because he was talking to Mary, and he's supposed to be mine. And they have this term, the young people, bae. Is your, are you my bae? Mm -hmm. And that's before anyone else. So they want to have people who are more important in their lives than the other people around. Well, one yeah. of the things that you say that's extremely important is it starts at home. The messaging that we're giving our young girls and our young men starts at home. What is that message? What is it that parents should be showing their children? Parents, I beg you, please understand that young women want good-looking guys, guys who dress well, guys who are popular, guys who are, you know, make, make their friends say, wow, look who you have. But those are not enough of the traits that young women must look for. Today, they must ask, does he have my back? Mm -hmm. And that's the most crucial thing that any girl can look for. And those are questions that we should be starting very young, yes. not after they're in college. No, I right. I mean, we need to start kind of building that, right? Because I told you I had 13 year old twin girls, oh. and we are already having this conversation. That's about right. About morals and what you look for in a, That's in a, right. in a and, partner. But the problem, Susan, is that they get out and they, and they, communicate with their friends. And yeah. then they forget and they everything forget. they've learned at home. And, and they all want to fit in. Mm -hmm. Sure. So the things that they do that they aren't even comfortable about are really not so good. And I worry about Susan's 13-year-old girls just as much as she does. And, but I also worry about my boys. You know, like I said, 22 I and too. 26, you know, it, it really, the messaging really needs to be the same. It does, it you does. Know, for them, Well, well for young, look, I, I counsel young boys too. And it's the same for both genders. Does this person, does your love interest have your back? And you're not gonna be able to know this until you spent time with this person. Right. So if you think, oh, this, this is a cute guy, I think I'm gonna hook up. Mm -hmm. and, well, well, what do you know about him? Yeah. Is he going to have your back? Is she going to have your back? And you've written a lot of books on this topic, and I know that mothers kind of draw to you and your messaging, but you said dads. Oh my They're goodness. also picking up your books and reading Dad. them because they want to sock the dude sometimes <laughs> out, right? <laughs> that's I, I, I that's, it, that's you know? exactly right. That's exactly right. I have more dads coming to me and saying, I want that book. Don't lie on your back for a guy who doesn't have yours. I want more of that for my daughters yep. because 
dads are very concerned about the messaging that the kids are getting. Yes. Where they don't have any influence anymore. Yeah. You know, they go with their friends and, and you forget about it. But, you know, we were talking about how it does start at home, but, you know, there, there are so many um, kids who don't have that guidance. And, you know, I you know, do, and you do all I the work know. at home, and then they go out into the real world, and it's like, oh, my gosh, it's like a, this never happened. Well, anyway, we could talk all day about this. <laughs> we sure Unfortunately, can. we don't have any more time. <laughs> oh, no. No, but Dr. Gilda, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. We really appreciate your information, and, of course, we have all of Dr. Gilda's information if you want to know more on our website, sonoranliving.com.